What's up guys, welcome back to another video about locks. After I've been playing around with this lock picking set for a while and managed to get every one of them open and figure out how they work, I want to try myself at a real challenge. So I got this master lock. I don't really know how this scale is measured, so not really sure if that's an actual you know, realistic indication of how safe it is. So you'd imagine 10 would be unpickable, but probably that's not the case. So let's take that with a grain of salt. We take that away. And I'm gonna see which of these tension bars is gonna fit nicely. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let's bring the camera a bit closer. Okay, still one sticking up. And I'm trying to go in through the bottom of the keyway, reach up to the point where the pin is, and then reach above it and press it down. This is my current... Oh no, the first one flipped back up. Okay, so... I'm trying to give it a bit more tension because I have the feeling that uh, these bolts are, or the pins are always going back up. So I'm, I chose a bigger tension bar. Uh, it's got thicker material, um, so I can give the lock quite a bit more tension uh, without flexing the tension bar too much. So. Let's see, and I'm gonna use this tool here because um, I'm, I, I think that I, uh, for now, I, I went uh, for the key, took a look at that. It's maybe a little bit cheating, but two of them have to be pressed down quite a bit and one of them has to be up. And I think with the randomness of this key, it, uh, of this um, <clears throat> tool, I can, um, maybe get them to randomly lock. Um, so obviously this is not a professional approach, but let's see. I think it might work a little bit better. And um, I'm now having some difficulties to push it back in. So I'm switching the sides so I can push it in and force the pin to go down. They're not getting in there. I'm loosening a bit of the tension. There we go. I can go a little bit further. And there we got the lock. This is really cool. Um, so this helped me quite a lot. Um, I don't think it's really raking. So the movement I made was like this and then when there was a pin blocking the axis, because in here was pretty much at that depth, I think, um, there was a pin um, not allowing my tool to go any further. And with, with that sort of um, angle here or the slope, I could just push through, through that and force the pin to go down. And I found that I or, always, with this one, I had the problem that I'm getting stuck against that pin and I re need to go down really quite a lot to reach over that pin. So anyway, 
I'm gonna try to single pin pick again. And I think I'm gonna go with this tool again, uh, the bar here. I think I chose that one and go for top of the keyway tension and try to single pin pick. Now I don't really remember which pins were going in first, but I do remember somewhere in the middle. I don't actually know how many pins there are, see? Um, but somewhere in the middle there, there was a pin that I could not go past. So I think I now hit that and I need to move the tool up really high to get that pin down. All right, I think I'm all the way through to the back. But actually one of the pins does not need to go down all the way, as you could tell from the key. There's one pin that needs to stay up quite high. And that racking tool made that possible. This one is a bit tricky to push down. I think it's the third one. There we go. So I had to decrease the tension quite a bit to get that one down. Now I'm increasing the tension to hold and see where the next blocking pin is. Let's set the focus back on the lock. So as you can see, the first ones are all down, uh, but there's still not a lot of movement. So I'm gonna go from one to two. I think that one clicked. Three popped back up. And it just doesn't want to stay down. Okay, I'm gonna try to use a bit more force and there we go. That was the one that I was talking about. That's really cool. Look at that. I got this lock open and I'm really happy about it. This was my first picked lock. It was the first lock that I got specifically for picking. And I think it is a very nice size, fits good in the hand. Um, obviously, if I can pick it with pretty much zero experience, then it's not a lock you should buy. But I mean, it took me quite a while. And for now, I would never say that um, this is actually an easy pick because, yeah, it took me a long time, but then again, my skills are very, very low. Um, pretty much <laughs> the whole skill set I got was from opening this and here I could visually see the pins. It's really a lot harder when you cannot see them. Yeah, anyway, um, I find this quite enjoyable and I can really see myself trying to pick different locks and obviously trying to pick this one multiple times again so that I can get the time down in which I can open this lock with just the tools that I got in my lock picking set. If you want to see the lock picking set that I got, this one. Um, I made a video about that uh, earlier and there you can see all the different parts of it and what's included, what's inside. So if you're interested in that, I'll link the video down below in the description. I hope you have a nice day and if you found it as interesting as I did, um, yeah, consider liking and subscribing to see more interesting stuff with mechanical things and electric things. Um, I really enjoy anything that is, yeah, has to do with engineering and cool mechanics and, and where you can learn something new. So I hope you have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye.